What's up guys? Um, just woke up. I worked the past couple nights, so this is morning time for me. I, uh, but I just woke up and had a notification on my phone that Jason put out a video. And then, uh, what was it? Like Danielle, my thoughts on her or something like that. I was like, well, now I gotta do something, right? So Jason, my thoughts on him. Um, so this is the, obviously the first time I've ever done a video without him and I say this a million times but I always get real nervous beforehand um, and then usually whenever we film I'm like okay I'm just gonna follow your lead and he is not here so oh is it about to rain? Uh, anyway, that was a perfect example of I need somebody to follow, like, guide. I am way too distractible. So bear with me. Um, so, Jason, my thoughts on him. He's the worst, right? <laughs> Obviously, kidding. Uh, he's pretty great. I, uh, what did he talk about? So, he talked about, um... Remember, <laughs> this is gonna go so good. Um, our first time hanging out and everything, just getting to know each other. I'm gonna try to not just tell the story because you guys have heard the story. I'm just strictly stick to my side and my thoughts, not just on the story, but him and um, just what it's like dating a YouTuber, dating somebody that lives off grid, and all that. Uh, it's definitely different. But, so first things first, my thoughts when we first hung out and all that. I, um, as you guys know, met on Facebook, he sent me a friend request and I was like, yeah, this dude's hot. But, I wasn't I think Jason said this too. I wasn't ever like trying to date really necessarily. I was just happy being single. I was in a seven year relationship. Granted, I was four years ago. But after that, I got to the point where I was just like so happy with my life, how I was. I told my friends, like, I am good with being single forever. That's the lifestyle I was living. And I loved it. But Jason came through, he messaged me and he did say this too. It did, at first, it, would, it did take a while for me to respond, but you know, I got my heart to get. Oh, just kidding, didn't do that. But he, um, as we kept messaging and everything, I got more and more interested in him and you get a little faster and faster with texting and i never watched any of his like videos i guess i never he told me that he lived off grid and um made youtube like a career but i had to even like go back to read that message to remember it i don't know why it didn't really sink in I don't know, never, I just didn't think twice about it. Um, the first video I actually watched was, he sent me uh, the grandpa, first Grandpa D video. And I thought it was hilarious. I was like, okay, this guy's got a sense of humor. Um, I didn't watch any other videos though after that. And so still no really idea about him, what the whole YouTube thing is like. Uh, but so we hung out and this was he said this too like Bell's palsy was was in swing uh, it wasn't like where I had to wear the eye patch on my eye I could close my eye but not like all the way and I had to like focus on it um, also hot take not from the jab but yeah, and so 
Riley, Riley's on the prowl right now. Um, I already forgot what I was, this is gonna be so bad. Um, what was I saying? All right guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, oh, when we hung out, I weren't, I did, he knew about the Bell's palsy, but reminded him again, I texted him, was like, by the way, my face doesn't really work that well. Um, but he came over and that's another thing, another insider detail was, that my friends don't even know this. I told everybody that I was meeting him out um, and not taking, bringing him over to my place at first because we hadn't met before and everybody's like, you're gonna get murdered. And I was like, maybe. <laughs> so I don't recommend doing that, but here we are. I, I live to tell the tell, tell the tale. Um, he came over and just, he came right out here and just immediately started talking, just dove right in. Um, my, I remember thinking too, I was like, wow, this isn't like service level conversations at all. We are really just diving right into everything. And I, I rem remember thinking too, I was like, this is nice. You know, whenever you first start hanging out with somebody, it's so surface level. And then I'm about y'all, but I get bored with that. Um, but hung out, those palsy was popping off. And that's how you know, uh, being in the woods really just lowers the standards. <laughs> so thankful that he was secluded for a while because the uh, half the face not working didn't throw them off. Uh, uh, the place we went to eat at was McNelly's. It's one of my favorites here in Tulsa. I forgot what Jason called it in his video, but he can't remember, but for y'all, I was wondering, it's McNelly's. Um, and for anybody that lives around Tulsa and stuff, you know, it's awesome. They got great burgers. And it was just immediately like refreshingly easy. I've kind of, I don't know if I've talked about this, but it's just being immediately was like the easiest thing I've done hanging out with him. He talked about how we were nervous and yeah, there was nerves there, but not like a shy nervous. It was more like crushing um, schoolgirl nervous uh, have my friends like go talk to him and see if he likes me type of thing and uh, uh, it really did remind me of being like a girl again with those like those nerves which for me that was I made it a lot of fun too uh, we he said we didn't kiss on the first date we didn't that was when the nerves really kicked in. He, uh, yeah, I, right off the bat, I noticed like his nervous face because whenever he came to the door, he had this, I was like, that's a nervous face, but it was adorable. Not to get too mushy here. Um, so yeah, at the end of our day, there was the moment, everybody knows, y'all know the moment where you're like this, you look at each other and you feel it. Like, oh, this is where we kiss, but he had the nervous face and I think we just hugged. And then it was like, he, he just left. And I think he texted me after, it was like, I really wanted to kiss you. I got so nervous, I was like, I was nervous too. And Barley's rolling around. Um, so yeah, old Jason Crocker didn't make the move. He didn't do it, but um, so really just like after that first date, I had a feeling, especially like I had a feeling talking to him. We, everybody knows this. We've talked, we talked for a really long time. It just completely changed my 
thoughts and feelings about wanting to be single forever. Who would have thought? All my friends think this is the craziest thing. They're, they're like, Danielle? You? I'm like, yeah. I actually like somebody. What is this? I want to be with somebody. So he must be kind of special or something. I don't know. Um, so they knew YouTuber is different. It's, oh, I, I get that question a lot from my friends. It's different, but not like, I don't know how to describe it necessarily. Um, different in the fact that it's just mainly not working nine to five. It's constantly working, really. Um, I mean, some of y'all been calling him out. He hasn't been like working on the tiny house, but that doesn't mean he hasn't been like working. There's just been a lot going on lately. Um, but just being with someone that does YouTube, it's constantly, not constantly, but um, I don't know if anybody like realizes how much like editing it's and all that stuff he does is gotta do this, gotta do that. Like always, always doing something. So that's really what's the biggest difference is the hours, but in a different way. I don't know, I'm really good at describing things. Um, and then the whole off grid thing, I actually thought that was, like I said at first, didn't really think into it. I didn't watch any videos, so I had no idea what that even necessarily meant. And I think he said it and it just went, Burr. um, it wasn't until like I went out there, which was the second time we hung out, uh, that I realized like, oh, you, you live off grid. Like this is it, there's no running water, anything like that. But I think I wasn't, I was so focused on like how impressed I was with the fact that all this was built, uh, that I, the off grid, those things like the no running water, like how do you eat, stuff like that. I didn't really think too much about it um it was more so like wow you did this this is awesome uh and it the first time i went out there i was like wow i said this a million times already this video maybe we should do a like count for how many times i said say wow instead of like no i got this out. i'm already distracted again life of Danielle this is what it's like <laughs> um. ah! oh my gosh I'm caught on my chair okay focus focus <laughs> maybe Jason can edit this no I don't know but went out there I got, I'm back on track now and it was just peaceful and fun so I didn't really there wasn't like negative thoughts about it I, a lot of times when I tell friends and stuff they're like like what off grid no running water all that type of stuff but it's it is very peaceful out there and the fact that you can do what you want like we shot a guns and everything and I love that type of lifestyle riding around in four wheelers flipping four wheelers by the way I have a, some scars on my knee from that <laughs> um, I was just I was just impressed with that and the dedication uh, the dedication to do all that that's a lot that's that's what blows my mind more than anything I wouldn't be able to do that um I do like doing stuff like that but to that's like your life that's that's wild right um so I guess my thoughts with that is really I was 
it's like the drive and dedication that like that is an, some awesome characteristics to have like stick with something that is hard and tough yeah you can go through slumps with it and not and needed a little bit of a break but to do that for a year that's wild to me and that is really one of the things about Jason that I gotta give him props with and that kind of gets me in my feels makes my heart melt a little bit about him also I'm not a mushy person so Jason's turning me into this person like I'm a changed woman <laughs> um, but no I guess that's kind of really about it. I I just want to say thank you too for like all the people for all the support um, you've given. There's been it's like 99.9% .9 support and it helps a lot. Nerves. This is a whole new lifestyle for me. Doing this like obviously I'm not used to this. This is awful. But I just thought maybe you guys would want to see here my thoughts on things um even a short video i don't think i really even went into that much detail but jason put out a video about me so i gotta i gotta put a video about him right i think my dogs are getting into something so i gotta go but again thanks for watching guys and thanks for the support too um you guys are great and uh we'll see you on the next one you guys have a good day